On the northeast tip of North America is a town called Gander. September 11th, 2001. Over 200 planes getting diverted. Even with all the hotels in town, we've got no room. This is one of the most emotional films I've seen in a long time. I mean, it is the the combination of the, the goodness and joy that the, that the passengers felt and that the residents gave in Gander with the sadness of the situation. And I wonder, um, Sharon, uh, we're coming up to the 20th anniversary and you've obviously dealt with this like in the front for a long, long while. Are you prepared for the anniversary? I think so, yeah. I mean, it certainly helps to be part of this show and part of this community because at least I know where I'm going to be and what I'm going to be doing on that day. And it feels like we have a, a mission of not only sharing this film and this story with people, but also one of the big movements that came out of Come From Away is the idea of paying it forward. So on 9-11, we will be um, packing up meals for the homeless on the Intrepid, which is something that we have done every 9-11. It's nice. I feel fortunate to know what I'm going to do. Caesar, you have a really tough job. You play three characters and such quick uh, character and accent changes throughout the show. How did you deal with that? I think you may have had the toughest job. Actually, I, we all get to do kind of this stage magic throughout the entire show. And it's so, um, if you ask any actor, it's an actor's dream to do this kind of work, to be able to play such different uh, people and to be able to switch on it, uh, you know, within the sec uh, within a second or two. Um, but honestly, I think as actors, this is like a fun house to be able to do something like this. Uh, and I suppose you, you uh, stick together and did through the pandemic, did you? Well, we certainly all, all kept in touch. Yes, we we had we had uh, regular Zoom meetings. We had regular text chains. Uh, this is a family through and through. We've gone through major major life milestones with each other, and uh, these are almost like brothers and sisters at this point. Uh, it, it's an honor to be working with each of them. Astrid, you played Beulah. What a special woman she was. She was the heart and soul of, of I think, the, the, play, the musical, but of the community serving these passengers. Tell me about her and playing her. Uh, playing Beulah is, is the biggest honor I've had in my life. And the wonderful thing about Beulah, she's actually kind of represents all the women of Gander who stepped up on that day. So she's a really a combination of Beulah Cooper, who uh, was such close became such close friends with Hannah O'Rourke and Diane Davis who kind of led things at the uh, Gander Academy the school so I get to represent all the teachers all the women who worked at the Legion people making sandwiches and these are beautiful practical women who stepped up you know they have huge hearts but they have busy hands which is what I love about them they just they just get to it and they show their love in practical ways taking care of all the passengers and entertaining them as well and taking them on trips and some people went moose hunting and and um, I'm still very close with with Beulah and and Diane Beulah will talk to me about her family as if I know who everybody is and sometimes I don't but I feel like I've been you know I think we all feel like we've been embraced by our doppelgangers and um, it's been a it's been a truly an honor That's and wonderful. to get to do that on screen now and Thank sort of you. have it there forever we barely know where we are. Just freaking out. I wish I was home. Thank you for shopping at Walmart. Would you like to come back to my house for a shower? <laughs> Hello? Yes, it's me. Dad, I'm OK.
We honor what was lost, but we also commemorate what we found.